Welcome to the introductory video to the JavaScript API. This video is part of a video series teaching you from ground level on how to use the JavaScript API. After you watch this video, feel free to watch any of the other videos. To follow along with this video and the other videos in this series, you can grab the con companion content, which contains sample code as well as slide decks, at github.com slash tableau slash JSAPI videos. Grabbing the companion content is not necessary for this video, but feel free to do so so that you can have that material for later. Let's talk a little bit about the goals for this video. At the end of this video, you should be able to understand when and why people choose to use the Tableau JavaScript API. From there, we'll give you a high-level understanding of how do you enable the JavaScript API and how does it work. And we'll also get you started on using the JavaScript API. After that, we'll give you some resources on where to go next to find out more of the details and more of the intermediate techniques on using the JavaScript API, as well as where to find documentation, where to ask for help, etc. So why would you choose to use the JavaScript API? Well, let's say you have a website. And you have, of course, a lot of clever content that you've written for that website. Now you decide you want a Tableau dashboard or visualization inside of your website. Well, you can already do that with the default embed code. That is, you can go to any published Tableau dashboard, click the Share button, highlight the embed code, copy it, and paste it into your HTML page. That's all it takes to do a basic embed into your website. So why would you choose to use the JavaScript API when that requires you to write a little bit more code? Well, the reason is that it enables a deep integration between the content of your website and the dashboard that lives on inside of it. For example, you can have your content filter, switch tabs, select marks, and otherwise control the dashboard that is embedded inside of the website. But you can also enable what we call two-way communication from the, from the dashboard and your website's content. The other side of the communication is that your website can respond to information or events that are happening inside of the dashboard. The result is a robust integration that will impress your users and how you're controlling the dashboard and responding to events inside of it. Let's take a look at a few examples of this kind of integration. Now, before I do that, I'll show you one more example of a basic embed. So here we are with a website. It's got content outside of the dashboard, in this case, the header and the footer, a typical modern looking website, and there's a dashboard living inside. So if that's all you need, again, you don't need to use the JavaScript API. But here's an example of a dashboard that is living inside of a website in a similar way. And instead of the default way of switching from tab to tab, this website using the JavaScript API allows custom controls to switch from dashboard to dashboard. This website also allows the end user to control the filtering of the dashboard with buttons that are outside of the dashboard. So here are some custom filtering buttons that the user can click. Clearly, these are not Tableau's default quick filters, and this allows a more custom experience for filtering. The same applies for this date filter up above, which is not built in Tableau, but is able to control the filtering of the dashboard down below. As I said, this is a two-way street. 
which means here's a embedded dashboard and the user can do no normal things on the dashboard, maybe filter to some uh, performance analytics. Let's look at an em employees who were rated four this year. Now they've found a few employees that they would like to take from this dashboard and go explore further elsewhere. Well, they can click this plus button, which is inside of the dashboard. And maybe they'll click a, a couple. And as they do that, the people they are clicking now appear outside of the dashboard. And they can even click Run Audit, bring, the, bring this into a completely different system. And now the integration between your backend database or other systems or just the interface of your website is responding to events and data from your dashboard. Now we always like to point out that at the moment you have programmatic control over your dashboard, it opens up a world of possibilities. Here's an example of someone who took a Tableau dashboard, added some JavaScript API, and made a game out of it that would obviously not be possible without programmatic control or the JavaScript API. So the user can control the snake in a familiar snake game all inside of a Tableau dashboard. And of course, when you lose, you get to see yourself compared to other top scores in a Tableau bar chart. So once you enable the JavaScript API, the creative possibilities are really only limited by your creativity. So we've seen why people would use the JavaScript API and taken a look at a few examples. Let's talk about getting started with the JavaScript API. What do you need? Well, first of all, you need a Tableau visualization, of course. And this needs to live on Tableau server, online, or public. You also will need a text editor of some sort. Throughout this series, you will see me use Visual Studio, Close, uh, sorry, Visual Studio Code, which is a nice free text editor. But you can use whichever text editor you prefer, for example, Sublime, Atom, any text editor designed for code editing. So let's talk about how the JavaScript API works and how you enable it. First of all, you need three main components. You need Tableau Server, you need your web page's HTML, and, we, and you need your web page's JavaScript file. You'll have a dashboard or visualization or workbook published to Tableau server online or public. And you'll also need to use this tableau-2.js file that lives on Tableau server. Now let, me make, now let me make this clear. You don't need to write this JS file. It's already been written for you. It's what enables the API. And it already lives on every installation of Tableau server, Tableau online, or Tableau public. But what you'll do with that Tableau-2.js is you'll include it inside of your web page, your web page's HTML with a script, uh, a script file, a script tag, and that'll enable the API. The next thing you'll do is you'll take your JavaScript, which includes your custom API code, and, in, and, and add that to your web page as well. Now, What's in this your javascript.js? It of course has your app's code for controlling all of the things outside of the Tableau dashboard. But using the JavaScript API, you'll write some embed code. The result of that is that the dashboard will be embedded inside of your web page. And finally, you'll write some JavaScript API functions that interact with the visualization enabling that robust integration that we talked about. Now let's actually take a look at the code required to do this. Here's your web page.html. And here are all the components I talked about. On lines three and four, you see the JavaScript file tableau-2.js and I'm loading it from public.tableau.com. I'm also loading my JavaScript file called yourjavascript.js. This is my custom JavaScript file where I will uh, write the embed code. And finally, one thing I haven't talked about yet is this empty div. 
This is just a div with an ID that I need to say where does my viz, where should it live inside of my HTML. Here's the JavaScript file called yourjavascript.js. We need our viz object, which is where we'll access the, uh, the API. And when the, dash, when the HTML loads, we'll write the embed code. The embed code includes a variable called vizdiv. This is that empty div that I talked about in the HTML. We have our viz URL, which is simply the URL to our Tableau dashboard. And we have our options object, which includes things such as width, height, and you can also do things like decide whether you would like to hide the toolbar or not, etc. So we have those three variables, and those are the three ingre ingredients for actually loading the dashboard. To do that, we say viz equals new tableau.viz, passing in those three ingredients that we talked about. The result of that is if I hop back on over to Google Chrome here, here is my Tableau dashboard. And if I refresh it, you'll see that I have that Tableau logo outside of the viz, but inside of it, I've loaded my tree map into the, into the website. So I've enabled the API, I've embedded a dashboard into my website, and now I'm ready to start writing interactions to control the visualization and listening to events inside of my dashboard. For those things, see the other uh, videos in our series. For now though, I'll leave you with a few other resources that you can check out. First of all, developers.tableau.com. This is a one-stop shop for all of your API and extensibility needs using Tableau. Specifically, you'll find the link to the JavaScript API developer docs. You'll also find a hands-on introductory tutorial, which will get you started with some of the other things in the video, uh, some of the other things uh, using the API, such as controlling the viz, switching from tab to tab, etc. And a really great resource is the community forum. The link from the developer portal uh, will give you access to the developers community forum, which is a really great place to talk to other Tableau developers, uh, ask questions about APIs, etc. One last resource is if you go to youtube.com, type into the search bar hashtag data dev, you'll see a playlist of all of our API and extensibility related videos, including this series, and a series on Web Data Connector and more to come. Finally, once again, a link to the GitHub page, github.com slash tableau slash JS API videos. You can grab the this slide deck that I've been going off of as well as the two files that I showed and all of the files for the rest of this video series. Thanks for joining us. See you on the other videos.